Howdy and howdy. Uh, for the last 10 minutes, it's been Drag Race Central on my street, so trying to uh, do a short take here on my topic at hand, uh, which is obfuscation. That's my word, obfuscation, when people cloud or make nebulous an otherwise clear scenario. Uh, that is my, uh, my uh, word of the day and my word to guide this, uh, this uh, mini lecture here as I put this right here. Yeah, that's a pretty good view. Got the plants in the background. Yeah, a lot of people drag racing up my street today, but that's not my topic. My topic is the detention centers in Mexico, the ones that have been in the news so much the last year or two, the, 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 the uh, people who hate Mr. Trump and everything he stands for and what the Republicans have, have uh, pushed for with their hard line on, on uh, walled, fenced borders. And with those detention centers, which have been around for a long time, preceding our current 45th president, uh, as uh, places where those who try to cross over illegally are detained uh, for a variety of reasons. And often their children and their, uh, their loving families separated from them and held as well until they're able to be picked up by someone or in, in some other way returned to where they come, came from. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up today, and obfuscation is my, my ideal word to sort of bring this all together, is because at my local church here, which used to be called Crystal Cathedral, but is now known as Christ Cathedral, it is a Roman Catholic church now. It has been reconstructed and refurbished from having been a death trap of bad construction with outdated and uh, uh, degenerated uh, beams and trusses and you name it. It is now safe to be in, and it is now a Catholic church, not called the Crystal Cathedral, but it is now called Christ Cathedral, and it's quite lovely. My wife and my kids and I have been making our Sunday worship there about half the time or at least once a month now. It's quite lovely, 9.45 a.m. Mass on Sundays. Last week, the deacon there, his name escapes me because, frankly, I just don't know it, but he is a Latino gentleman. I believe he is from Mexico. And uh, I'm sure that as a deacon, he's a perfectly wonderful man. But uh, he obfuscated the situation last week when he was talking about the detention centers, which he never once referred to as detention centers. He referred to them as concentration camps. That's a lie. That's not a just a politically charged decision to call them that. It's a lie. It's an outright, purposeful, non-accidental, 100% damn lie. As they say, there's lies, damn lies in statistics. Well, he didn't even bother with statistics. There's absolute zero proof in any way, shape, or form that what's going on there is the equivalent in any way, shape, or form of what went on at Bergen-Belsen, Treblinka, Auschwitz. And anyone with even the most marginal understanding of what concentration camp means, like, for example, the fact that the English used them during the Boer War. And that's where the concept came from. So Germans being very observant, they perfected that just a bit, if you will, to their end in World War II with what we now call concentration camps. There were POW camps, that was one thing, and certainly there were medical prisoner of war camps like Andersonville during the Civil War. But as we call it now, what a concentration camp is, is a place where people were exterminated, murdered, starved, allowed to die from simple maladies they could have been cured from, gassed, and their bodies once dead, cremated like just so much medical waste. That's what concentration camps are. So the obfuscation, the obfuscatory uh, malignancy of that deacon's verbiage is meant to do one thing and one thing only, to, dis, uh, to distract, deflect, and misinform those who listen to him. And maybe that day last Sunday, nobody was listening but me. Maybe it's just Mr. Pissed Off up here because that steps on my political toes. Hey, if I was as anti-detention center as many of my friends are, I'm not. I'm for those centers because they serve a purpose and laws have been broken and the people who are kept there need to be there until they're processed and then returned to their homes if that's how that goes or kept someplace else because there's some other reason to keep them there. Uh, there are reasons why people are stopped and held there. Uh, just ask Mr. Obama. He has done a hell of a lot more of that detaining than our current president has yet gotten to do under his watch. But 
calling those concentration camps is an insult to every Jewish and non-Jewish resident of those aforementioned German concentration camps. And it's a friggin' shame, and it's disgusting shame for a man in my church to mislead, misdirect, and flat out lie to people calling it that. That's obfuscation. And that's my word and my theme for the week. I'd love to hear what you think. Please weigh in on the comments section and feel free to be as disagreeable with me or uh, inflammatory with me as you wish to be in the anonymity of the internet. Or if you're in support, then so be it. I frankly don't give a rip because uh, uh, this has been something I thought about for a week before I even brought it up here. But I do care what you think either way because it tells me at least you're watching. And uh, not that there's any monetized benefits to me at this juncture. This is just purely for my own uh, whatever remains of my, my uh, professional ego to even put these things up online. So that's what I got. And I'm interested in what you have to say. So thanks for stopping by the porch. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.